let's talk about compensation. It used to be more often than not, the compensation for a buyer's agent was paid by the seller. Now regulations have changed and the responsibility to pay for compensation for buyer representation, the agent who represents and protects you, falls on you, the buyer. We still negotiate with the seller to get them to contribute to their compensation. But at the end of the day, seeing that your agent gets paid is now the responsibility of the buyer. You'll have to sign an agreement before any buyer's agent in the US can work with you. That agreement will always say the buyer is ultimately responsible to pay the buyer agent commission, not the seller. That said, the seller can still pay the commission, it just has to be negotiated off the MLS. The new regulation does not say that the seller can't pay the buyer representation fee. It's something that can be negotiated on your behalf. Some sellers will pay for it and some won't. You can choose to write an offer on a home where the seller pays the fee for your buyer's agent, or you can choose not to write an offer on a home if the seller is not willing to pay it. That compensation can seem like a big chunk, so is it really worth it? If you choose the right broker to represent you, it definitely is. Seller's agents are just that. They are there to represent the seller. You want someone who's working on your behalf. Most experts agree that buyers who go in it alone often end up paying more for a house because they don't have the negotiation skills or market knowledge than an agent does. They might also miss out on finding the best home for themselves because they don't have access to all the listings and information that an agent has. Not only that, but buyers who don't have a real estate expert in their court can end up with dozens of legal headaches and unexpected costs. When buyers decide to represent themselves in a real estate transaction without the expertise of a buyer's agent, they might think that they're saving money. But when you consider overall the financial investment and potential liability involved, it's really a false savings. Having representation makes a huge difference. For example, according to the National Association of Realtors, homes sold directly for owners, known as for sale by owner, or FISBO, tend to sell for an average of $95,000 less than sellers who use an agent. So if having professional representation can make that much of a difference to a seller, think about how much it can benefit you, even if you're the one paying your agent's commission. And you know what? Your agent doesn't get paid at all until they've succeeded in getting you into the home you want. Here's what a great broker does for you. First, they guide you toward the right home. This means they start by connecting you to a reputable mortgage loan officer so you really understand what you can afford. You don't want to waste your time looking at Mercedes if a Kia is all you truly qualify for. A great broker will also help you get a clear understanding of what you need, your priorities, and also what you'd love to have in a home, the must-haves and the nice-to-haves. Next, before dragging you around on tours, they'll research different neighborhoods and homes to find you great matches. They'll guide you to detailed information on things like school scores, crime rates, traffic patterns, local amenities. Before you ever step in the car, you know exactly what you're looking at and if it fits what you're looking for. Then once you find a home you like, they'll research the current market and market trends even further and they'll talk to the seller's agent about the seller's priorities and hot buttons. At this point, they'll also ask the seller's agent if the seller is willing to pay for the fee of your buyer's agent. All of this is to help you write an offer that will be attractive to the seller at the price you can afford with terms you want, or to help you decide whether to make an offer at all. Your agent will present your offer and begin the negotiation process. A great agent will be a terrific collaborative negotiator with the experience and expertise to know how to compromise and create a deal that both of you and the seller are happy with. By the way, I have my certified real estate negotiation certification. Your buyer's agent will be able to negotiate things like rent backs, potential maintenance issues, and closing costs, including their compensation. Your agent will negotiate the right price and terms and make sure you're not paying more for the home than you should. It will negotiate credits and additional items on your behalf that the seller will pay for instead of you. The seller's agent wants to protect the seller and get them the most money and the best terms. As a buyer's agent, their job is to do the same for you. Their goal is to negotiate all of this 
and make sure you are the get the best possible price and terms. It's like a friendly boxing match between the listing agent and your agent. Once your offer is accepted, your agent then manages all the people and processes to unearth any issues and finalize the deal. They'll order inspections like home and radon inspections, plus any special inspections needed like pool or septic and point out any issues. They'll also coordinate appraisals and discuss the results with you. They'll order and review the report and point out any red flags. They'll keep on top of lenders and help you provide whatever documentation is necessary. If the state or situation calls for it, they'll coordinate with attorneys, and they'll also review the seller's disclosures and point out any potential problems, then negotiate a resolution to those issues. They'll connect you with home insurance companies and home warranty providers and help you choose the best options for your situation. Your agent will manage all of these people and processes to keep you and escrow on track and they'll regularly communicate so you know exactly what's happening. Their job is to make sure that you are protected from any legal liability. Yes, your agent will spend literally hundreds of hours much of it behind the scenes working on your behalf and it's only when they succeed and you have the keys to your dream home that they'll get paid again per agreement you as the buyer are contractually responsible to pay this fee though your agent will negotiate and try to get the seller to pay for it however based on all they do for you don't you think their fee is worth it this is mary k right with their properties and the right choice thanks for watching <laughs>